Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> we are going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage of season four, UK of. So design challenge, your favorite. I love the design challenges because it usually shows the resourcefulness, the creativity of a queen. How quick can you get dragged together exactly. on a dime, on a pinch, if you're creating something out of junk. And that to me is, is the heart and soul of drag. And, and not going to a bunch of people to put it together for you. Bitch, when you're in a pinch, make it yourself. And that is an important part of drag. The queens are not only working to make their own look, they're working right. with another queen to create two cohesive looks. The fabrics are both vintage, modern, so it's a combination of, you know, it's a little bit recycled. They're asked to do something great for bingo. Bingo. Bingo is such a huge part of drag culture, believe it or not. I mean, yep. people think of brunch as being a drag thing, but also bingo. Every queen should have hosted a bingo at least once. I think this is a terrible idea. Well, it depends on who you're teamed up with. Working with another person is a panic attack. You ever seen this done before? Do no. Do this? No. So let's see how they do. Hey. <laughs> And tonight on the runway, category is Bingo She Better Don't. First up to the stage, Sminty Drop and La Feel. I would have stoned that whole thing. Who's got time for it? They're like, no. you got an hour. Yeah. I love the construction of every piece she's wearing from here down. So I love yeah. the way this is wrapped and it hangs down the back. I love the way this comes around her waist and then it just gathers right at the no-no hole. And then the way it accentuates all of her body, it just looks great. I love, 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 love that color. I love the monochrome. I love head to toe, the same color. I love that they both chosen to just go for the whole thing without breaking it up with any other color. I think that's a really smart decision. But I also love the draping. The draping is really important. I think that draping is not really a conversation that's had enough of in drag. I think people just really want super structural things. This looks like she's got a sarong that wraps and drapes over her shoulder, but it's all so deliberate and so beautiful and it fits her beautiful. And if you got the body, you got to flaunt it. Yeah. You don't get to have those tight, tight abs that they both have. Show what you got. And enjoy it while and you have it. enjoy it, it while you have because it. Because if you can hold on to that for another 20 years, good right. on you, bitch. Right. But yeah. it's, it's fleeting. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's fleeting. Let's talk about... Like a douche, honey. It fleets. Well, I, I could use a douche. <laughs> you always can. <laughs> love Both it. The looks are great. Love it. And I, I love how this one is... Very sminty. Very sminty. Midriff bearing, body conscious, straps just placed at the top of the hip. The boot cover, excellent, beautiful. Gloves. The gloves. Gives me like Balenciaga, you know, where you just get like that whole solid one color look. Mostly, I just love the silhouette of this. I love it, that, how sexy it is on her. I love the little keyhole. There's something kind of Y2K or 90s maybe about mm -hmm. this. And both of them to say, no, I, they're not going to look identical, but they look like they came from the same show. It's just the look. It is the look. It's the moment. It's the feeling. When queens do the ponytail coming out of, you know, what, whatever it is. That I, old trick. I Love always it. want it to be on top. Oh, right. I want it to be on the top of the head and coming out. So when it falls back a little, it kind of looks like it fell. Both of them, too. Toots, toots, toots. Next to the stage, we bring Black Peppa and John Burr's Blonde. I love from the neck up on both of them. Mm. I love their faces, I love their hair. From the neck down, I don't know. I actually kind of like John Burr's. Mm -hmm. I always love that slim, tight skirt mm. with just a little bra. And I love the color. And then that just wet, tousled, out of the shower hair, beautiful, bold lip, great. But then. Black Peppa's looks like it's just completely falling apart. Yeah. And I love what they did 
where they took the fabric and made a mm -hmm. texture out of it. Not saying that a, a wrap or, is, or a sarong is not great because we loved it, but mm -hmm. there was more attention to detail. And I love that neck piece that, mm -hmm. that Black Peppa is wearing. Yeah, it looks incomplete. I think Black Peppa's costume is very interesting. It, it does combine texture and color. I love wig is like my favorite thing. Oh my gosh, it's, yes. The neck piece is my favorite and there are elements to the body that is my favorite. Everything feels like an afterthought. Like, oh, I see she put a thing on her shoulder. I should Oh, uh, I'm going to wear well. a thing yeah. on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's really cohesive, the color. Well, and then they used the weaving thing. You oh, know, the bra. it could have been tightened up a little bit. Like the look needed some sort of like coming together and it looks like it's just kind of like all over the place. There's a basket weave, there's a one shoulder. Jumpers, I can deal with. I do love, like you said, the skirt and bra combination, but it's just like an afterthought to put the thing on the shoulder. Yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and boot this. No tea, no shade. It's, it's a just boot. like, it's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Danny Beard and Pixie Polite. It takes me right back to turn of the century. <laughs> Very just bold color, body conscious, yes. with a pop of gold. And yeah. usually it was a lot of gold. I love everything about both of their looks from head to toe. The hair, the color of the dress. I love that she doesn't show off too much. So her, her hemline is just below the knee. <laughs> and then Danny Beards is just above the knee. Right. I think that it was done very smart, both of them. And I love black leggings with black pumps. Under I think so too, yeah. I love, 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 that, love. That's actually my new fetish. I just think like we've been so stuck in a concept of our legs having to look natural. Why not just a black solid yeah. leg? with that, you know, endless high heel that just mm -hmm. kind of blends all in. But I love this because it really has their personalities. There's, the dresses are so similar. Mm -hmm. They are obviously the same color made of the same fabric, but also each one shows their own personal character. As a team, this is the look and they look fantastic. The difference is not just the hemline, it's the styling of the entire thing. They have two different hairstyles. The hemlines are different, yes. But the idea is they are a team. This is a collection. If they were in a fashion show, they would be fantastic together. If one designer designed this entire collection, this is what they would look like. One would offer a longer hem, one would, would offer a shorter hem, depending on personality. Can I give them both toots? Two. Next, we bring to the stage Baby and Dakota Shifa. I think they look cute. It's very much their personalities. Each one has done something very different. They're using close to the same silhouettes. They've gone for shorter skirts, but also the tying in of the black vinyl and then also the draping of the fabric that was sort of Versace-esque with the colorful chains and stuff on it. I think they did a good job. It's very Versace, even the hairstyle, like 90s, 90s Versace. Mm -hmm. You can see where Dakota gets a lot of inspiration from the 90s. And mm. all of her silhouettes are kind of the same. It's a little skirt, sometimes it's a little askew. It's got You're a ruffle. There comes a point where it's like, girl, change it up, okay. just a little bit. But both of them look like they come from the same show, the mm -hmm. same collection. They're walking the same runway. Mm -hmm. And I love that Baby has the glove. Mm -hmm. And Dakota has the the, the, the legging. Mm -hmm. I love the sash that wraps around Dakota and then that bow that Baby is wearing. I think they're both complete concept two. Two. Next to the stage, we bring Cheddar Gorgeous and Copper Top. I do like Cheddar's garment. I love the draping. Mm -hmm. I love the sash down the side. Mm -hmm. I love the leotard. Mm -hmm. I love the way everything is gathered around the chest. I love the shoulders. It's textural. It's interesting. She is a mood. She feels dark. She feels sexy. Brand it one. looks like they made cheddars. They worked it out. It's good. And then they were like, okay, now let's get to yours. Mm -hmm. And when they got to hers, they didn't realize we ran out of time. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. I love a white pump more than a white boot. Mm -hmm. But a white boot is very specific and it needs to be worn with a certain look. Mm -hmm. This ain't the look, sis. Whenever someone throws on a white boot randomly, it just feels so generic. If you're gonna wear that white boot, uh -huh. why not wear a white glove? Why not wear something else or a white headband? Yeah. I always think that if you're gonna wear white and you're gonna do a metallic, it should be silver. And then you've got Cheddar, who's got a black boot with gold. This whole head to toe is so confusing to me. The hair is just this like weird helmet. She gets a boot. Boot. 
Cheddar Gorgeous. Cheddar Gorgeous gets, gets a two. Gets a gorgeous two. Yeah. Trend alert! Midriffs. Tummy. Right here. Abs. Belly buttons. Uh, Skin. Uh, oh, look at my belly button. Uh, oh, my midriff. Get in my midriff. Our top two of the week is Dakota and Baby. Oh, oh Baby Dakota. Yeah. We couldn't split up babies. Oh my god, yeah. So they, they both get the top two of the week. Baby and Dakota, Dakota and baby. Baby and Dakota, Dakota and baby. We're already three weeks in, and make sure you're caught up by catching an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race UK season four on Thursdays. You can watch it on WOW Presents Plus anywhere in the world, with the exception of UK and Canada, where you can watch it on BBC and Crave. Bye. Bye, Batch. Get out of here. Love.